Ah, next up for a good old review, we've got this alarm clock. It's by a company called, they're on the box here somewhere. At least I thought it was anyway. It's In Life is the company where it's from. Uh, and this is a, a K1 radio alarm clock with dual USB charging. That's what it says on the box. Uh, you know, digital FM radio and dual USB, 1.1 amp and 2.1 amp for recharging iPod, iPhone, iPad simultaneously. That's what it says on the box. Can it live up to that? I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll soon find out, I dare say. So, on the other side of the box, we've got a bit of dirt because it's come off my hands. I've just had to clear a space on the bench to make this, uh, <laughs> to do this. Anyway, we've got an LCD screen, 3.2 inch backlit LCD, an FM radio charging temperature. It tells you the temperature in the room, apparently. Uh, alarm clock and an aux in. And it's got a load of stuff, and it's made in China, which is no surprise to me. Don't know about you lot. And that's all. It's, that's all we've got. The box is quite nice. I always give uh, a bit of an opinion on the on the box on packaging of things because packaging is important. I think anyway. I like a bit of packaging. If the company's put good effort into packing and the box and everything, then you know they're a good company. Chances are everything's going to be funky dory and nice. We got here an in life card. Dear friends, thanks for your time to be a better one. We need your support. All right, we'll do that later on. So we've got a bit of an instruction list. Uh, well, the instruction list, it's an instruction leaflet. It tells you how to operate an alarm clock. Sweet. I'm probably going to need it because it's probably got a load of stupid settings where you have to press buttons for long terms and press buttons here and press buttons there, as many Chinese things tend to have. This is what we've got inside the box. You've got your alarm clock itself. You have the main, like a, the main charger thingy. Um, and that's obviously your aux cable for your aux in this. Let's have a look in here to see. Is there nothing else in that box, is there? No. That's an empty box now. We can get rid of that, can't we? This is the alarm clock. Comes in a nice packing. Oh, got a few holes in it. I like this bag of stuff that they often put electrical stuff in. Very nice. It's got In Life branded on the front of it because that's the company that make it. And to tell you the truth, to start with, it feels very nice. The quality actually feels very good. It's quite, it's not a flimsy, horrible plastic like you would do. Should point out, by the way, these are 35 pounds, or is it 36? 35 or 36 pounds at the time when I got this, which it was November 2017. Don't know the exact date. So, yeah, where was I? Ah, K1 radio alarm clock, dual charger, blah blah blah. This is where you stick the old batteries in. Three AAA batteries, so triple A batteries it would take. I'm not going to try it with the batteries in it though. I'm just going to plug it in and have a look. We've got a USB ports here. If we can ever have a look at those. USB 1 amp, 2.1 amps, we've got the DC in at 5 volts, we've got the aux in, um, the skip in, you know, the, to select your frequency, and you've got a mode button, and you've got a centigrade and Fahrenheit button, a 12 hour and 24 hour button. Sweet, I'm assuming the mode one must be to choose between aux, alarm, and FM radio. There's your little speaker. I wonder if it's any good. Probably won't be able to play anything. You've got two alarms. You can set two alarms with this thing. I won't be able to play anything because I'll probably end up being copyrighted again. I'll tell you what, this channel doesn't get copyrighted very much, but the other one does. Let's plug that into some electricity and see if we can get any activity from it. That were long words, weren't they? Activity, activity. Uh, let's plug that in there. Oh. Turn the switch on, that might help. There we go. It says it's 12 o'clock in the morning. I don't think it is somehow. It's 24 degrees apparently. That will go down in a minute. It's about seven degrees in here. But yeah, so we've got a nice display. What happens if we press that? Oh, it goes a bit dark. Press it again and again and again and again and again. So we've got 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different brightnesses. You can just about see it on that one. You might not pick it up on the camera, but you can just about see it. So, oh. so you've got six different brightnesses on how bright you want the, um, you know, it to show up. Uh, if you press that, that chooses alarm two. That chooses alarm one. How do we set the time? Hold that down. Ah, there we go. Look, you press that and hold that down, and then you can choose the time. What is the time? It is 25 past 6. So let's set this and see if it's going to hold the time while I'm talking about, while I'm talking crap. So it's 6.25. Six twenty five PM. Let's press the old twenty four and twelve hours. There we go. Eighteen twenty five. That's what I prefer. We've gone down to sixteen degrees now as well, I've noticed. That's very nice. Very nice. It's still not sixteen degrees in here. No way. It's about seven degrees. So that's what we've got. Let's try the uh, old FM radio. Sadly, I can't do a full um, comprehensive review on this because I haven't got anything to plug into there to see if any power comes out. No, I haven't got anything. I don't have anything that gets charged by a USB. Anyway, let's press that one. Oh, we've got a bit of noise. We've got some noise coming out. Let's tune to, how do we tune to a frequency? Let's press the button. Oh, we're tuning now. It seems to be doing it by itself. I'm not pressing anything. Let's press it again. Oh, you can't stop it. Bloody hell, get rid of that. Go away. <laughs> ah, I don't want any copyrights on this one. Blimey. Right, we're going down now. Look at on from uh, Grieg's Holberg Suites, the Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra with conductor Neymar Yevi. I know we've already heard from one Mozart this hour, but can we Seems to be quite a nice signal, considering there's no aerial attached to this. Bearing in mind I am touching it though. Still a nice... Not a bad, um, not a bad sound coming out of that speaker. I wouldn't say. I'd say it's alright. I'd say it's a nice old alarm clock to tell you the truth. You get a nice little bit of instructions. You can potentially charge two things, 1.1 uh, and 2.1. I'd be inclined to put an iPad on the 2.1 amp and the phone on the 1.1 amp one. So you can do that. You obviously can't charge anything when you've got batteries in it though because it won't be enough power from those batteries to charge anything. But I'd say, you know, I would actually say this is a very good choice of an alarm clock. If you've got 36 or something quid to spend on an alarm clock and you like a smaller one like this, I'd say go for it. I'd say it's very nice. I can't tell you how long the batteries would last in it though, because I ain't got any batteries to put in it. So, yeah, I think I'd be inclined to plug it in anyway if I had it on my bedside table. Very nice. So I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. Sweet. I forgot to say, I'm going to put the link in the description to the page where I got this from on Amazon, so you can go and get yourself one as well, if you want to, you know, you don't have to, do you?